Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when you can't update an iPhone in recovery mode. A lot of readers send us emails for finding solutions for iPhone update problems in recovery mode. Here are some common cases. iPhone is stuck in recovery mode and update cannot complete after connecting to iTunes with error 14. iPhone won't update in recovery mode due to no storage space but there is enough memory left iPhone software update in recovery mode keeps failing within 15 minutes. Computer or applications didn't detect an iPhone in recovery mode to do the iOS update. Don't worry if you have the same problem. This video will make it clear what causes the iPhone not updating in recovery mode and how to fix the issue by yourself. Let's keep watching. Why isn't an iPhone updating in recovery mode? The cause might be any number of issues. iPhone runs out of memory storage. Connected cable fails to work or the phone's charging port is dirty. The program you use to update an iPhone in recovery mode has issues. The computer cuts down the download of the firmware file. There's an issue with Apple servers. Your iPhone is malfunctioning. The battery, charging port or other components are damaged. Thankfully, you can fix iPhone update failure in recovery mode on your own. We'll show you a few solutions of how to fix an iPhone that won't update in recovery mode. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any question, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Check the cable and iPhone's charging port. A good connection is the basics for a successful iOS update in recovery mode. Using a frayed, old or uncertified cable or having a dirty port on an iPhone might interfere with the connection. To verify if you can't update iPhone stuck in recovery mode due to this, just attempt a known good cable or clean the charging port carefully. It's also a wise move to clean the port on the computer. Then, connect your iPhone to the computer again. Enter recovery mode and see if it manages to update your iPhone in recovery mode now. Check the application used to update an iPhone in recovery mode. After you are assured that the connection works well, the next thing is to verify if the program works well. Make sure it's downloaded from the official source and it's up to date. If you have tried many times and an iPhone stuck in recovery mode won't update to the latest iOS version, consider using another program. Currently, iTunes, Apple Devices app, and Finder are feasible options. For example, if your iPhone isn't updating in recovery mode through iTunes, just try the Apple Devices app and Finder. Force restart iPhone to leave recovery mode. Now, it's time to target the device if both the connection and program are fine. Your iPhone could become corrupted and fail to respond to the update command. If you find an iPhone update failed and the device is stuck in recovery mode, or the computer and program didn't find your device, go force restart the device. It'll get the iPhone out of the recovery mode, clear the cache, and turn back on with a fresh system. Follow these steps. In an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Then, connect to the computer and try using recovery mode to update your iPhone system again. Check the computer. Now, you've eliminated the connection, program and the device. It needs to be mentioned that the computer you use will also prevent you from updating an iPhone in recovery mode for some reason. So, switch to another PC or Mac computer if available. If you live near an Apple store, an ideal option is to use the Mac computer there. Check if Apple server is at fault. While rare, Apple server issues do exist. When your iPhone in recovery mode can't update to the latest iOS update, it's possible that Apple servers may be down. You can either wait for a while or directly send an email to ask the expert to see if there is a recent issue with the server. What to do when update isn't fully downloaded and iPhone exits recovery mode after 15 minutes. It often takes an hour or two to finish the process of downloading and installing the latest iOS firmware on your iPhone. However, the recovery mode only lasts 15 minutes. That means, the iPhone exits recovery mode after 15 minutes regardless of whether or not the update has been fully downloaded. 
If you find an iPhone in recovery mode won't update because it takes a long time to download, here's what you can do. After it's over 15 minutes and your iPhone reboots, quickly re-enter recovery mode. When the program asks you to either update or restore, click cancel to turn off the dialog box. As you can see, the computer will continue downloading the iOS update. Once you notice that the download is done, it'll start preparing your device for the update and your iPhone should show the Apple logo and progress bar. Just wait for the progress bar to come to the end and finish the iOS update in recovery mode. Try restoring your iPhone in recovery mode. Do you see the error 14 when the iPhone update failed in recovery mode? If so, it means that your iPhone is in low storage memory. To solve this out, perform a restore on your iPhone in recovery mode instead. This is also a good fix if your iPhone is stuck at the Apple logo screen or won't turn on but putting it in recovery mode and trying to download the software update won't work. Here's what you need to do. Install and open Apple devices, iTunes, Finder on your computer. Connect your iPhone to a computer via a cable. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, keep your phone connected to turn to the computer. Apple devices, iTunes, Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Click the restore option and finish the following instructions that are left until the restore process begins. Wait for the restore process to end and your iPhone turns back on. Contact the support. If your iPhone is still stuck in recovery mode and you can't update to the latest iOS, it might be due to hardware damage. Bring your phone to a local store along with a cable and computer if convenient. The tech there can conduct some troubleshooting to fix iPhone getting stuck in recovery mode won't update. If your phone is under warranty or has Apple Care Plus plan, the repair could be free of charge. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that can't update in recovery mode. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.